For three weeks now, Indiana State Police have been searching the Wabash River in Peru, but won't say what they're looking for or why they're there. We witnessed them once again wading through the shallow waters and using metal detectors to search the riverbed. Metal detector guy all of a sudden alerts to some couple guys kind of move over there and then start uh, examining that spot. And then if they don't find it, he goes back over that same spot and kind of pinpoints it a little bit closer. State police initially started the search sort of in the area just right here where we are now. But the search has since moved a little bit farther downstream and they still seem to be focusing on the north side of the river. Crews were also seen clearing brush and branches on both sides of the Wabash near the search area. The fact that they've been out there for three weeks, which is a lot of manpower, a lot of time, you would suspect that they're looking for something very important. The search area is just two miles from the former home of Kagan Klein, who has been tied to the Delphi murder investigation. Court filings reveal that state police temporarily took Klein out of jail last month, where he's awaiting trial on unrelated charges. Shortly after that, the searches began, and retired FBI Special Agent Paul Keenan says that's no coincidence. There's got to be a reason that you have to take him out of jail. You don't just interview somebody. You can interview him in jail. So more than likely, he needed to be out to show them something uh, that he couldn't describe from prison. Keenan said the teams are likely doing grid searches and expanding the area as they come up empty-handed. He says he hopes they find the answers they need, but it won't be easy. But it's difficult after five years to find something um, in, a, in a river with a current that's pushing it for five years. In Peru, Max Lewis, Fox 59 News.